Hello and welcome to highlights of the Umlup Het Newsblad Race 4 on the Women's World Tour for 2023. And Umlup makes its debut in the Women's World Tour for the first time, kicking off with the team presentation in Tekoipka, the famous velodrome that hosts the Ghent Six Day. There is always a party atmosphere, but it's no party for the riders when they get out on the road. The Umlup, five sections of cobblestones with the Langemunte and the Holovig coming early on in the race. We then get into the climbs, three cobbled climbs with the Molenberg, but really it's the Moor van Gerardsbergen and the Bosberg that come at the back end of the race, and then it would be a headwind in towards the finish. A large group came in towards the final climbs of the race, and Team Movistar were in a commanding position with new signings. Liana Lippert driving things at the front. It was a puncture for Cassia Nuvia Doma of Canyon Shram. With 27 kilometers to go, Arlena Sierra, the Cuban rider from Movistar, went on the offensive and she did build a considerable advantage over a still sizable peloton behind that concluded the likes of Elisa Longa Borghini and at that point, Annemiek van Vluten, who it wouldn't be till after the race we found out punctured before the Moor van Harardsbergen into the famous climb. And it was Lotta Kopecky and Pfeiffer Georgie that went clear. Kopecky, though, was floating up the iconic climb. And as they hit the punishing steep slopes at the top, she made contact with the Movistar rider, making it two at the front. A select group came together behind, which was swelled in numbers. This gave teams strength in numbers. They would head towards the Bosberg, the final climb of the day. 1.4 kilometers in length, averaging 5%, maxing at 11%. But as they hit the cobblestones, last year's winner of the Ronde van Vlaanderen attacked Sierra, who had just stopped working with Kopecky before the climb, and it would be all about the Belgian from here. There had been no Belgian winner of the women's Umlet Pet Newsblad since its inception. Lisbeth de Vost, second place, the best performance for them. As Sierra was caught by the group behind, Liana Lippert from Movistar took over at the front. And it would be Lotta Kopecky's teammate, Lorena Vivas, that was doing a great job defending. Movi star tactic shift with Sierra Court. It would be up to them to chase behind. They were joined at the front as well by the UAE ADQ team with riders such as Lizzie Holden. The gap, though, was holding. Lotta Kopecky, first road race of the season, came into it off the European Championship track in Grenchen, and she was holding the advantage over the group behind. They did make inroads, but it wouldn't be enough. And the former Belgian champion came in to kick off her road season in emphatic fashion and become the first Belgian to win the women's Omelette Het Newsblad. Lorena Vivas, her teammate, made it a 1-2 for SD Works, with Italian Marta Bastianelli taking third. Celebrations all round for Team SD Works. What a day, what a rider. The winner, Lotta Kopecky. Your top 10 looks like this. Kopecky takes it from Weavis and Bastianelli with Norsgaard, Georgie, Costa, Ton, Schweinberger, Paladin and Longo Borghini, your top 10. What a day and another important moment in the career of Lotta Kopecky and Belgian cycling as she takes it ahead of teammate Lorena Vivas and Marta Bastianelli. We now head towards Strada Bianchi in Italy, where in 2022, Lotta Kopecky took the victory ahead of Annemiek van Vluten.